Do you even know what is happening in your market right now? Do you really know? I mean, like, really, do you know what is happening to your market today? And I've been talking about this for a long, long time, uh, but I'm still noticing most agents are not doing it. Are you tracking the market stats? What's actually happening in your market on a weekly basis? Weekly, weekly, weekly basis. Monthly, awesome, but you need to be tracking right now on a month, on a weekly basis, what's actually happening. So there are two stats I want you to track every week. Okay, really one that is primary. How, what is the total active inventory on your market today? In the MLS today, it's got to be done every week. You can't go back and do it in retrospect because it's not about how many new listings. It's what is the active inventory right now? So I got active inventory. What is it today? Okay, now I do it a week from today. How much is it then? A week from then, how many? What is the active inventory? So that you can get your hands around uh, you. What's happening in the market? Or is inventory going up, inventory going down? And then monthly, and you can do this all weekly as well, but you also want to be tracking what the average days on the market. Average days on the market. And then you can do total pendings, uh, total sales. What is the average days on the market? What is the average list price, average sales price, average list price, average sales price? Now this, when it comes to closings, you have to pretty much in sales, you pretty much track it monthly because there tends to be a heavy a heavy um, closing calendar on the end of the month. So you have a lot more closings coming on the end of the month. So if you do it weekly, there's going to be this little, little monthly cycle. So when it comes to closings, actual sales, how many homes are actually selling and closing and what is the actual list price, sales price ratio, those you can do on a monthly basis, but you've got to know weekly what is actually happening on the market. If you do this every week and it's just like, it takes you just a couple of minutes, just get on your MLS, pull up search, what is the total active inventory in your market? Now you can break it down into your big market and then you can break it down to sub markets, but you have to stay abreast of what is happening because right now more than ever in most of your careers, the real estate market is changing. And if you can be ahead of the game so that you know more, gives you more confidence, but it also gives people more confidence in you because when they say what's happening, how's the market going? You can, you know, and you know stuff that other agents do not know. So get in the game, my friend. Make sure you're tracking those numbers every week.